Mario Party The Top 100 is an interesting game. I see what they were going for, but it's almost like Nintendo doesn't actually understand what makes Mario Party great. Sure, the minigames are fun with friends, but that's not the selling point. The competition and the element of randomness and strategy goes a long way throughout the entire series, even in games that a lot of people hate, like Mario Party 9 and 10. Mario Party The Top 100 is a game on 3DS that highlights the best 100 minigames from the series' history, but not the handheld ones. Those games definitely don't exist. I know this because in the history of Mario Party section that this game has, it only has Mario Party 1 to 10. I guess I must have dreamed the other ones. The problem with this game is it's very subjective as to what the best minigames are. I mean, yeah, some of the greats are definitely here and it does have a pretty good selection of games, but does anyone really like this minigame from Mario Party 2? Or the beat goes on? Cause they're here. Goody. Also, why is this on the 3DS and not the Switch? I mean, I know the reason, but why? The reason is so that they can have microphone minigames from Mario Party 6 and 7, except on my old 3DS it feels way worse than it did back on the GameCube, and that's one of the biggest problems. Whilst with some minigames it's good to go back and play them, with others it's really bad. Kareen & Coopers, tilt the 3DS to move shells into the holes. But the way the game works, you have to tilt the 3DS away from your vision, so how can you see where the holes are? A Switch remote with its infinite ice cubes would have fixed this. Tug of War really hurts your thumb due to the nature of the 3DS analog being pretty awful. If only there were some special gloves to help with that, I mean, I don't know. The, the irony is great, it really, really is. The game does have a couple modes, a quote-unquote story mode in the loosest sense, where you play all the minigames available and that unlocks them in free play. You have a live system, so fail too much and you'll... Well, I don't actually know what happens when you lose all your lives. I really hope you don't have to restart from the beginning, because god, it's just not fun. The minigames in the original game are tense because of the stakes of the overall game. This is tense because I just want to unlock the damn minigames. It's a stressful tense and not one I enjoyed. Also, there's a bunch of luck-based minigames, one after the other at one point. To be fair, to lose a life you only need to come last, but I came last in a lot of the luck-based ones. Goes to show just how bad my luck is. There are championship battles, which is the first to win three or five minigames, pretty self-explanatory. Decathlon, where you are rewarded on your speed of completing the minigame. It's actually quite a nice idea if they actually had a huge selection of minigames instead of just a very limited set. And finally, there's minigame match. It's almost like normal Mario Party, except really not. It's basically a similar way of playing Star Rush, the 3DS game before it, but it only has one board. I'm pretty sure this is why the game was made for 3DS. A lot of the assets are the same as Star Rush, so besides the minigames which would take time, they could save time on a bunch of things. Though the overall map of the story mode, indicating minigames in its environments, was a nice touch. Yeah, overall, I don't think this game is worth it. If your favourite part of the series is the minigames, then you'll have fun with it, and I also like that only one person needs to own it, and you can play with your friends on that copy alone, but it doesn't salvage how bare bones it is. They had a perfect opportunity to remake the best boards from all the games, but instead they just went with the most basic package. It's a shame. But hopefully Mario Party 11 on the Switch, whenever that's announced, will be a true celebration of Mario Party with both styles, from the original boards to what they did with 9 onwards. A set of both catering to every fan would create something great, I'm sure of it.